we are going to prove the rule number four of lemma three of Killeen's theorem. So this rule number four says if there is an F for R1, then there is also an F for R Killeen star. So if you can do an F for A an F for A star. And the key point here is that let's say this is an F for A. Now when you have to have clean star, then you have to know that this final state also becomes the starting state. And you start over again. So just imagine that it is also the starting state. So it may become like this. So the key point here is that you have to imagine that the final state is also starting state. With just this key concept you can draw this FA. First of all, you will uh, draw a table and then from that table you will draw the FA. So for instance, here we have this FA for this regular expression. It accepts either null or A's or it accepts A for by optional A's and B. So the thing is that it will have at most single B after so many A's or it will have just A's. But if you take the least out of this regular expression like this, it would be like this A star plus A, A star B. Now you can repeat this whole this thing again and again. So now you can have more than one B's but the resulting FA will never start with B and it will never have double B because B is always followed by at least single A. So it will never have double B and it will never start with a B letter. So now you, we have to draw an FA for a B star. So let's do it. So the idea that I gave you was that whenever you reach the final state, assume it is also the starting state because you can start over again because it is just like a loop no? you know this clean star is like a loop so let's say you are at the x1 state and this is the starting state as well as accepting state so starting state you call it z1 and at this state if you read a you move to x2 x2 and you know x2 is also the accepting state so when you are accepting state you are also at the starting state and starting state is x1 to write x1 here as well so this is it so when you are at x1 you read letter a you will move to z2 and that is actually x2 or x1 and at x1 when you read letter B, you move here, X4, so I write X4 here, and X4 is not the final or accepting state, so I do not write the starting state here. So I call it Z3, and I call it Z2. So now I check for Z2, and Z2 means X2 or X1, X2 or X1. So at X2, if you read letter A, because in these two states x2 or x1 x2 is starting accepting state and x2 is also accepting so I put plus here so at x2 if you read letter A you stay at x2 x2 and because x2 is accepting state final state so you also add the starting state x1 and at x1 if you read letter A you move to x2 that is already here so, and this combination is same as this combination so it is again z2 and now 
we see what happens when we read letter B at Z2. At X2, when you read letter B, you move to X3. X3 is an accepting state, final state, so we also add X1, so X3 or X1. And at X1, when you read letter, letter B, you move to X4, so I add X4 here. So this is a new combination x3, x1, x4 and we call it z4. So after checking z2 we check z3 and z3 means x4. So at x4 when you read letter a or b you stay at x4 so I write x4 here, x4 here and this is z3 and now we check for z4 and z4 here means these three states. So I write these three states here and check for each state. At x3, if you read letter A, you move to x4. Write x4 here. At x1, when you read letter A, you move to x2. And x2 is the final state, so I also add the starting state. So x2 and x1. And at x4, when you read letter A, you stay at x4 and it's already here. So this combination is not a new combination. It is actually Z5. Yes, it's a new combination. So we call it Z5. And for letter B at Z4, you can check yourself. You uh, move to the state X4. And X3, for B, you move here. For X1, for B, you move here. X4, for letter B, you move stay there. So for, in all these states, if you read letter A, you move to state X4, X and X4 is Z3. And finally, we check for Z5. This is a combination of these three states, X4, X2, and X1. At X4, when you read letter A, you stay at X4. For X2, when you read letter A, you stay at X2 and X2 is because because X2 is a final state, so we also add the starting state, X1. And for X1, if you read letter A, you move to X2, and it is already listed. And this combination is not new combination, so it is Z5. And for letter B, on these states, you move to these three states, and this is Z4. So we have drawn a table. So using this table, you can draw the final diagram and that diagram will represent R star. So this is a diagram that we drew from this table. This is the starting state Z1 and it is also the accepting state. Then all these states are final state Z4, Z5, Z4, Z5 and Z3 and uh, Z3 is not accepting state. So we will not add plus sign here. It's not accepting state. So this is it. If you have any question, uh, please write on the comment box. We will discuss it later as well. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.